March 31st, St. Benjamin, Deacon and Martyr. Yazdegerd, son of Sapor III, put a stop to the cruel persecutions against the Christians in Persia, which had begun by Sapor II. The church had enjoyed twelve years of peace in that kingdom, when, in the year 420, it was disturbed by the indiscreet zeal of Abdas, a Christian bishop, who burned down the temple of fire, the great divinity of the Persians. King Yazdegger thereupon demolished all the Christian churches in Persia, put to death Abdas, and raised a general persecution against the church, which continued forty years with great fury. The king died the year following in 421, but his son and successor, Faranes, carried on the persecution with greater inhumanity. The very recital of the cruelties he exercised on Christians strikes us with horror. Among the glorious champions of Christ was St. Benjamin, a deacon. The tyrant caused him to be beaten and imprisoned. He had lain a year in the dungeon when an ambassador from the emperor obtained his release on the condition that he should never speak to anyone about religion. The ambassador passed his word in his belief that he would not. But Benjamin, who was a minister of the gospel, declared that he should miss no opportunity of announcing Christ. The king, being informed that he still practiced faith in his kingdom, ordered him to be apprehended, caused reeds to be run between the nails and flesh, both of his hands and feet, and to be thrust into other tender parts, and drawn out again, and this to be frequently repeated with violence. Lastly, a knotty stake was thrust into his bowels to rend and tear them, in which torment he expired in the year 424. We entreat you, O most holy martyrs, who cheerfully suffered most cruel torments for God our Savior and his love, on which account you are most intimately united to him. Please pray to the Lord for us miserable sinners, covered with filth, that he infuse into us the grace of Christ, that it may enlighten our souls, that we may love him.